Oh, afternoon, Orchid Loving YouTube. It's just a short update. November 20th, 2016, on how things are going in the garden. What you doing, Bob? Oh, and we're going to take a, a look at the vanilla plant today. It's on the outside in the garden. And she goes right there. She's in a kind of shaded position. But we're going to take a look at her. I haven't did an update on her for a while. Hold on. Let me get to the outside. Okay. So far, last week I did a, a quick update on everything. But I did move, move the Vandas uh, to give them a little more sun. So I have them hanging all over the place. And they seem to be loving it. So I'm not going to complain. And this wrinkle style is here. It's just going crazy. Just the, <laughs> the root tips are just wilding out, you know. So hopefully it's happy. Everything else is happy. But uh, back to the vanilla. Okay, so that's west facing. And we have a little shade cloth over here in this nice cool shaded area where where I stuck her. Now it doesn't get very much sun but it does get during the summer it's crazy so but during the winter it's a little milder. Alright so uh I'm gonna try to pull her out of here so we can get a good look at her. Hold on. Oh had a little mishap pulling her out of the corner. Kind of broke off the tip but I have no doubt that she'll continue to grow sorry about that don't want portrait want landscape broke off the tip trying to pull her out of that corner but that's okay she's doing great she'll do great but here she is i got her from the redlands orchid festival international orchid fest this year so uh what i've done is when i got her originally I wrapped her around a pole similar to this. This is a totally different pole. And when I repotted her, I just collapsed her down totally. Just collapsed what was growing on the original pole, which was this. This is collapsed down. And what I did was I just took the remaining parts of her and then created a new pole and wrapped her on this new pole. This is actually the second pole. And she has totally latched on and loving it. See the roots? They're just digging in to the coconut husk and uh, spag that I created. Wrapped around the uh, large bamboo stakes here that you can get at Home Depot. See the roots here? Root tips. She's she's just loving it. Now this part, when she gets a lot longer, I'm just I'm gonna take this part and collapse her down, and then take a small piece of the growing tip and then just wrap her around until she gets long enough where I'm gonna create. I'm gonna take the skeleton of my umbrella, put the bottom into a plastic umbrella stand put it into this bucket here and just load it up with mulch and whatever she loves and wrap her around the pole and that'll be her stand in this corner here nice and cool for the vanilla and that's where she's going to stay in a bucket in that corner but that's her her future home <laughs> hey mom cooling it out mom but uh yeah that's what I plan on doing and I'm really sorry girl for breaking it off trying to get you out of that corner but this vanilla is enjoying itself totally and I'm very happy she's happy look look at this root here it's it's dug in that's dug in. She's she's just dug in everywhere. Definitely. And this is moss. 
I mean, I'm sorry, this is spag and coconut husk. And it might be some bark in there. I'm not sure. If I go back, I'll be able to tell. Oh, yeah, there's some bark. There's small pieces of bark. But mainly, it's spag. And this is her wrapped around several times down in there. She's very long. But she's not budging. She is not moving. Do you hear me? She is dug in. And she's telling me that she's loving it. Loving every minute of it. Okay, so I have to accommodate her roots with uh, with spag. I'll just wrap some more spag around because I'm not ready to collapse her yet. I just broke off her growing tip, so I have to see what's going to go, what's going to happen after that. can't believe I did that, but that's what happens when you fool around with your plants. Down in there, look, that big fat. I don't know if you can see that in there. That is one fat, happy root down in there. Woo! All right. That's just a short update on my vanilla. Look at this leaf here. Look how large this leaf has gotten. That's large. That's a very large leaf there. Yeah. Okay. So that's a short update on my vanilla one of them and the tiny vanilla is right there right behind that plant and she's doing fine she still has her her growing tip I'm not gonna bother her too much but that's the first piece I got from ooh, the Tamiami I think I got her from Tamiami International Orchid Vessel she's a lot slower because she's a sm she was a smaller piece I think the fatter the vine the better the better the growth. This was a fat, this was a thick piece of vine. It, it's growing better than a smaller vine.